Welcome to this video on sharing folders and buttons between users. I am David. And I am Jennifer. Prologotico 4 has two different ways to share buttons and folders between users. If you have both user vocabularies on the same device, you use copy and paste. If the users are on different devices, you use export and import. In this video we will show you how to use both methods of sharing. In Prologotico 4 you can now copy whole folders between different users. Note that the copy is only one level deep. This means that if you have a folder inside a folder, the second folder will not be copied. Let's have a look at how that works. I'm going to navigate to food, and then to the second layer page of food, and then I'll go to takeout food. This is my takeout food folder, and in that folder I have a sauces pop-up. I'll close that now. And let's have a look if there is something in storage as well. I'll go into edit mode. And we'll have a look here in secondary. There are some other foods there. And in storage I have two things as well. So that's the contents of my folder in the Jennifer user. And now I'm going to copy that folder. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I select take out food. I press the copy button here. And then it copied that button. And now I go out of edit mode by pressing the done button. I go to the David user and there I am going to navigate to food again and in food I go to the secondary and as you can see in this folder I do not yet have a takeout foods. So I go into edit mode pressing the pencil and now I press the paste button and now I have a takeout food folder. Let's have a look at what it looks like. So I double tap on it, which is what you need to do to navigate to a folder in uh, the edit mode. And I see my foods, but I see there is something wrong with the sauces. Let's have a look at the secondary page. I see my rice, fries and pies, and also from the storage. So it looks like the storage, secondary, primary all came along. The only problem is the sauces folder. And it looks broken, and if I exit edit mode, I can see that it's dimmed. I cannot really use it. This is what happens if you copy a folder that has additional folders inside. Now let's see how we can repair this. So I'm going back to the Jennifer user. And in the Jennifer user, I'm going to navigate to takeout food. I'm going to enter takeout food. I'm going to edit mode. And I'm going to select the sources button and press copy. Then I exit edit mode again and I go to the David user. So here I'm in the David user. I go into edit mode and I will start by pasting my new sources button in there and that looks a lot less broken. I'm going to get rid of the broken one so I'll select that. I need to unselect the right one and that's good. I press delete. While usually we recommend to move things to storage if you no longer need, in this case uh, I will delete it permanently because this is a broken button and it's not going to be of much use later. So I've deleted it permanently, I'm done, and now I can access the pop-up with the sauce. Mustard. So that worked really well. So we've just seen what happens if you paste a folder that has a link to a folder that doesn't exist where you're pasting it. Let's see what happens if you copy and paste a folder that links to a folder that already does exist where you're pasting it. Here's a folder which has a link to my friends folder. I'm going to go to back to Jennifer and home and I'm going to go to school and I've created a folder here called Field Trip. And inside Field Trip, there's a couple of places you can go for Field Trip. And there's also a link to my friends folder. So here, David is my friend. So is Anne. And Lisa and Nancy are also my friends. And if I go into edit mode, I'll see that I don't have any friends in storage. All of my friends are in primary and secondary. So. Field trip has a link to my friends. I'm going to copy the field trip folder into another user, into the David user. So I go into edit, select the button that points to the folder I want to copy. I'll 
get out of edit. Let me switch back to David. Let me find his school folder. It's in the secondary level of home. I'll go into edit and then I am going to paste. I'll double tap to get into the folder. I can see I've got the same buttons. You can see that David has a different grid size than Jennifer had, but because this is a folder where things just flow into the space that's available, everything looks fine, even though the users are at different grid sizes. And there's a friends folder here. Let me double tap and you'll see that there are different friends. This is because what's happening is the friends folder that it's that this button is pointing to is actually David's friends folder. So he's got different people in primary, he's got different people in secondary, and he also has no friends in storage. The person who uses the other Prolocode to Go user, in this case David, has their own friends folder that they will want to use when they use the field trip folder that I'm giving them. So because we've designed Prolocode to Go 4 to only copy folders one level deep, when I paste this field trip folder, I can paste this field trip folder into another user and David's friends folder will not be overwritten. He will automatically be able to use his friends folder while taking advantage of the field trip folder that I created. So in this example, we saw that if a button links to a folder called Friends in one Crescendo user, and you copy that button and paste it into another Crescendo user, the pasted button will point to the Friends folder of the user it was pasted into. This is because Friends is already part of the Crescendo vocabulary. Instead of overwriting the folder in the user you're pasting into, you just get a button that points to the corresponding folder in the user you're pasting into. Let's give you another example using the friends folder. So I'm going to go to Jennifer. And I'm going to go to people and this time I'm going to copy the friends folder itself. So I'll go into edit mode. and tap friends and copy leave edit mode go back to david go to home and to david and let's see i'll go to places say and go into edit mode and i'll paste and here you see looks like a friends folder but if I double tap on it, it's David's friends folder. It didn't copy Jennifer's friends over. So most of the time, that's going to be what you want. But there, but it, what if I really wanted to take David's friends folder and replace Jennifer's friends folder with it? I'm going to have to do a bit more work. I'll need to copy and paste the buttons inside the folder rather than just copying the whole folder which is what we've been doing so far. This means that the folder I want to copy has buttons in the primary, secondary, and storage levels. I'll have to copy each of these levels separately. So I'm going to go back to Jennifer. And here I am in Jennifer's Friends. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to copy the buttons that I know David doesn't have. I know he's got all of these. These are standard buttons from Crescendo, but he doesn't have these in primary. So I select them and I copy them. I switch back to David. I go to his friends folder and go into edit mode. Now again, I'm going to select all of the non-standard buttons here, and I'm going to move these to storage. I'm not going to delete them because who knows, I might need them. But what I'm trying to do is set up Jennifer's friends folder and David's friends folder to look the same. So now that I've gotten rid of the non-standard buttons he had here, I can paste, and here I've got 
the non-standard buttons from Jennifer's folder. Now I go back to Jennifer and I do the same for the secondary level. I know that roommate is one of the standard buttons, but I know Lisa and Nancy are non-standard. So I copy those. I'll go to secondary for David. He's got a non-standard person there. And I'll move that to storage and paste. Now let's just go double check and look at Jennifer in her storage level, which I can only see in edit mode. And I don't have anything non-standard here, so I don't have to do a copy and paste here. But if I had other buttons here, I'd have to copy these and paste them into the storage level of David's friend folder, just like we did for primary and secondary. So what about copying and pasting folders you've created between different users? What happens if the user you're pasting into already has a folder with the same name? The answer is slightly different than for folders that come with the crescendo vocabulary. So we're currently in Jennifer, so I'm going to go to the David user. And in David, I'm going to have a look at places. So I'm going to go into edit mode. And what I want to do is I want to copy the Amsterdam button, but first have a quick look at it. So basically it has one specific button and that's the office. So I'm going to select Amsterdam. I'm going to copy that button. And now I'm going to go to Jennifer. And in Jennifer's vocabulary, I'm going to go to places as well. And there is already an Amsterdam folder. Let's see what happens if we paste the one I just copied. And we get a second Amsterdam folder. And as you can see, plug to go created that new folder in Jennifer and called it Amsterdam 1. And it contains the buttons that came from David. And the original Amsterdam 1 still has the Jennifer Bridge and Canal buttons. So we've been showing you how to share folders between users on the same device. What about sharing between users on different devices? In previous releases of Proloquo to Go, you could only copy whole vocabularies between devices. In Proloquo to Go 4, we've added the ability to export and import buttons or whole folders between devices. This works exactly like copying and pasting between different users on the same device, except that you export a file that contains what you copied and you import that file on the other device. Let's see how this works. So I'm going to leave edit mode for now. I'm going to go to food, secondary, and here's takeout food. I'm going to go into takeout food and into edit mode. And with export and import, just like with copy and paste, you can mix selecting regular buttons and buttons that point at a folder. And just like with copy and paste, if I select a folder, it's going to copy one level of that folder. I happen to know that Sauces just has one level, so this is going to work out well. So I have these buttons selected. I, for some reason, I'm making, I'm, I'm exporting things uh, without burrito and taco um, because perhaps a person has particular preferences that don't include those foods. So I've selected what I want to export. Now I tap this button here in the corner. It's the arrows going back and forth. And that shows me I have options to export to iTunes file sharing. Um, or I can import something from iTunes file sharing. What you don't see on this pop-up is the option to export and import from Dropbox. Those options are available. They're just not activated on this iPad right now. So I'm going to export to iTunes file sharing and I can name the folder if I want. So I'm going to say takeout folder and put my initials on it, JM. And then I tap export and it says, do you really want to export? And I say, why the heck not? 
and now it has exported that file to iTunes. So what I can do at this point, I've exported this file to iTunes. Um, we're not going to be able to show you this part, but I can hook up my iPad to uh, my computer. I can go into iTunes in the file sharing um, section for Proloquo to go, and I'll see a file there that says takeoutfoodjm.p2g. I can take that file, I can copy it to my computer, and I can then somehow get this file onto another device. I might do this by hooking another device up to iTunes and dragging that file into that other device's um, iTunes file sharing area for Proloquo to go. I might mail this file to someone with the instructions for how to use iTunes to put it in their system. I might put it in Dropbox and, and send it off that way. There's a number of different options to get that file to another device. So let's pretend through the magic of imagination that I have gotten this file to another device and I am now in this other device and I want to import that takeout folder. And I want to put it here in the, let's see, I want to put it in the restaurants folder, I think. So I'm going to go into edit mode and I press the same arrows button. And because I haven't selected any buttons, it's not giving me the choice to export. It's just saying, well, you haven't selected anything, you must want to import. So it happens to be the case that I do want to import. I tap import. Right now what I'll see is a list of the .p2g files that are in my Proloquo to go iTunes um, document folder. And there happens to be just one, the Takeout Food JM. I tap that. It says, do I want to import it? Yes, indeed I do. And it's imported. So you'll see that I have, um, I'll unselect these so you can see them better. I have the buttons in the same order that they appeared in the original user. I also have sauces, and since I had a sauces, since I'd already pasted a copy of sauces into this, um, this user before, that's why I have a sauces one. It's created in another copy of that folder. So that is how I would use import and export with iTunes file sharing to get folders and buttons onto a different device. You can also see tutorials on our website for how to use Dropbox to do the same thing. And with that, we are concluding this video on sharing folders and buttons between users. And we very much recommend that you check out our other videos as well as other resources on our website. And you may also want to consider joining one of our Facebook groups for adult AEC users, professionals working with AEC users, as well as family members that have AEC users in their family.